some last minute tips for your LO cat. Cat, look, that's not the the IT lit subject. I'm I'm joking. Look, all my cat peeps, I'm I'm sorry, that was a joke. Okay, you guys aren't IT lit. Cat in this context is common assessment task, and your paper tomorrow is going to be 100 marks. Hectic. And you're going to have two and a half hours. So two and a half hours is 150 minutes. So in other words, you have 1,5 minutes per mark. Okay, I also teach maths. You can check out my math videos if you like. So in section A, all questions are compulsory. So a short source may be used to contextualize some of the questions. But look, before that happens, you're going to have some MCQs, some nice multiple choice questions. You're going to have five. They're each worth one mark. Use process of elimination. If you don't know what the answer is, find one that is the most correct and eliminate the ones that are definitely incorrect. Use process of elimination. Choose the most correct one. And most importantly, back yourself. And when in doubt, put C. I'm, I'm joking. Don't, don't do that. That's absolutely atrocious, terrible advice. Sorry. And look, after the MCQs, you're going to have one word responses. List this, state this, provide this, give this, outline this, whatever it is. Quick, punchy ones. Don't write me or your examiner, your teacher, a love letter about it. it just be, be quick, be quick, sharp, sharp. Next, you might have some definitions as well. Define this. Or they'll give you a definition and they'll ask you to state the word. After that, you'll have some short explanations. Why, how, describe this, explain this. It's, it's short stuff, okay? You don't need to substantiate anything in ridiculous depth. These are quick questions. Everything here is compulsory and it's short. It's meant to boost your mark. And questions should test understanding and factual knowledge. It's going to come from any five of the sections that you have to study, as well as PE. And responses should be short. They should be direct. And mark allocation for the questions should range between one to two marks. Nothing more than that, my friend. Okay, look, if you don't know what the five sections are, it's development of self and society. Um, that's probably the biggest one. Careers and career choices, understanding your CV, contracts, the legalities, all of that. Study skills, how to study, mnemonics, mind maps, diagrams, importance of obtaining an NSC, SBA. Social and environmental responsibility. You can drop your king code knowledge if you do business there. Um, healthy living, reducing your carbon footprint. And democracy and human rights. Bill of rights, protection of state information, all that good stuff. Section B, everything is compulsory there as well. Oh my god, terrible highlighting. So you're going to have two 20 mark questions and it's going to be short open-ended questions. Remember, they're going to give you a little context, like a little blurb. The answers are not in that contextual at all. It's not there. This is not a reading study or bakhrips or comprehension or whatever. It's just there to give you context so you know where you are in your notes, basically, in, in your studying. Could be scenario-based, source-based, a case study, a cartoon illustration. I haven't seen all that much, but it is possible, and a graph. And these questions should be knowledge-based. You should know it. You should have acquired it from your Allo textbook. I know a lot of you didn't even bother to look at that focus Allo textbook. Some of you didn't even, you don't even have textbooks. You don't even care about it. You probably bunked or had free lessons for Allo. You just think it's general knowledge, which, yeah, partially it is. It is. Uh, a lot of the time you can wing some of these questions because it is general knowledge, but sometimes you can't. Sometimes it's specific. Learners should display, present, and apply knowledge gained from the life orientation content. What knowledge you got, my friend? No, I'm joking. I know you guys are knowledgeable. Mark allocation for these questions, anywhere between two to four marks per question. Okay, so be guided by the mark allocation. If it's one mark, just quick, punchy answer. If it's four marks, well, it's probably going to be two times two. Give two distinct sussing points and explain them in a bit of depth. Okay, section C. Learners will answer two 20 mark questions out of three. So you're going to have three essays. You pick two, pick the two that you are most comfortable with and watch that how to write an essay video. I'll, I go in a lot more in depth in that one. Well, look, these questions are predominantly going to focus on your application of knowledge and skills. They're going to give you a small blurb. Again, the answers are not in there. They're just meant to give you a bit of context. Next, a short text, diagram, data, graphs, cartoons, anything could be given to provide a stimulus so you know where you're, where you're at. Explain, examine, analyze. These are some punchy verbs that they could use. Evaluate means describe the advantages, the disadvantages. Critically discuss. Examine. Make decisions sometimes, give advice, give your own opinion. And remember, your own opinion can't be wrong unless you're just way off or you're inciting violence or whatever. Provide recommendations, perhaps a remedy. 
on how you could deal with that. Deal with the issue in the case study. Draw conclusions. Remember, this is an essay. Follow the IBC method, intro, body, conclusion. Remember, you're going to have three bullet points. Address all three. Intro, introduce those three bullet points. Conclusion, tie it all together. And learners should provide responses through extended writing of descriptive paragraphs or short essays. Mark allocation for sub questions in this section could range between four to eight marks. So it's usually four, eight, eight. Okay, four plus eight plus eight is equal to 20. That's how it's usually going to be. And please note down here, should learners be required to write a short essay? The structure of the essay would include an introduction, a body and conclusion, I, B and C based on specific key concepts in the question. So look, this is your one last time dealing with life orientation. You had to deal with it pretty much throughout your whole school career. You, some called it life skills in grade three, grade four, whatever it is. You've been dealing with aloe for so, so long, and hopefully you've taken some of the life lessons. I know a few of you vape and whatever, but yeah, this is a, an important subject. Or it may be common to you, it may not be common to everyone else. And I, I just hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you had I hope you've had some good allo teachers over the last few years, some allo teachers that have inspired you, that have explained the work in a different way, that have pushed you to do different things, because ultimately that is what a teacher is supposed to do. They're meant to guide, they're meant to nurture, they're meant to educate, they're meant to change lives. That is the beauty of being a teacher, tutor, educator, whatever you want to call them. I really hope you've experienced it. And if not, I, I really hope my, my videos have done a little something for you and that you'll perform as well as you possibly can in tomorrow's exam. Guys, you got this, just breathe. It's one last allo exam, it's one last push. You can do it. You've done it all your life. Do not fall at the last hurdle. You can do it. You're almost there. Good luck, and Goon loves you. Bye. Okay, bye. Okay, no, no, you hang up. No, 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 you hang up. Okay, no, seriously, bye. Love you, bye.